Hello YouTube. So here are my empties for the month. Um, so let me just go down the row and let you know how each one of these candles performed and you know the scent and everything like that. As you can see in the background I'm burning burning a uh, vanilla bean. It's really strong right now. Good throw. So I'm really pleased with that right now. This is my first time lighting it up. But anyway, back to these empties. This is Hickory Clove. I really like this smell. Look at this. So, um, a lot of sitting here in the jar. It did burn evenly for the most part. Of course, it had the same problem as most of the DW Home One Wick candles. Um, in that on first, it had an uneven burn. I did a full paper method maybe once and then it kind of corrected itself as it went along. So I would say it had probably like a medium throw. I put it upstairs in my bedroom and I could smell it as I walk in the bedroom but not anywhere beyond there. So and that was perfectly fine because uh, yeah, you know it is what it is. It filled up the room as long as it filled up the room it's fine with me. But um yeah, I, I do like the scent. Um, like I said, it was kind of manly. And so I enjoyed it. And it was a good, um, like, I guess, unisex scent also. So my husband enjoyed it as well. And so I, I would repurchase this. Um, next one was a Sweet Pea Pomegranate. Just finished that one today. And again, it's another one wick. Whoa, you can still see the smoke coming out of that one. Um, so... It was another, I would say, medium throw. I had this one in the living room, and so it really did not fill up the whole entire living room. You could smell it. Well, maybe it did kind of. Okay, you could smell if you entered the house, and if I came from downstairs, I could smell it. So, again, same issue with the one wick. Um uneven burn on first and then it corrects itself um, minor sitting as far as the fragrance it is like a typical sweet pea I don't really smell that much of the pomegranate to be honest and um, I guess I wasn't as impressed with it as other viewers or other um, youtubers it was just all right for me like the scent wasn't really that strong so it was kind of light so if you like a light scent, you'll probably like this one. But I wanted it to be a bit stronger um, for both the sweet pea and the pomegranate. So that's probably why I wouldn't, I don't think I would repurchase it. I mean, if I found it, I don't know. It wasn't my favorite. Let's just say that. Next, apple honey butter. I have this with the two wick candle and... um. It did burn evenly like with the two wicks they burn evenly for the most part but on first they just need a pull totally and then they'll start to burn evenly um i really love this scent this is like one of my favorites i like the apple honey butter it was um not a tart apple not too spicy it was just right sweet apple with the light scent of honey really enjoyed this one I definitely would repurchase it. Um, it it did fill up the living room, and I just really can't say enough good things about this one. I liked it a lot. Two thumbs up for sure. Um, so let's talk about this one, Autumn Orchard, one of their fairly new ones. Burn this one, and um, as you can see. It was kind of uneven. You do see the residue of the wax still around the edges. So let's like this one is a really extremely strong throw. Like you could smell it. I can still smell it right now. Just taking the lid off. It's not even that much wax still in it. But this one was a, a strong throw throughout. Like you could smell it all upstairs to leading downstairs. Unfortunately, though. Uh, first, I really enjoyed this scent. I thought it was like a fall type of scent. But then one time my husband came in and he said, the house smells like Indian food. And then ever since he said that, I started to really notice 
that the candle does kind of have that scent and I love Indian food but I don't want my house to smell like it and so ever since then I guess it was just a mind thing but I would always associate it with the Indian food sometimes it would have that fall scent but other times it would smell I don't know what type of spice it is that's in Indian food that's in this candle but yeah so if you don't like strong scents like that I don't think you would enjoy this one and to be honest like I had it I didn't even keep it downstairs anymore because my husband said that smell so I put it upstairs in the guest bedroom and um that smell is still lingering in there and the candle is not even there anymore the smell is still there so anyway that was really strong um but I mean, if it was another scent, like if it was the apple honey butter scent that was leaving that strong lingering smell, I would love it. But this one, I'm just kind of iffy. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't repurchase this because again, it has that, I don't know what spice it is, but it's very strong. And I think if you had guests over, it may turn them off. So, anywho those are my empties for the time being and um so thank you for watching and look forward to the vanilla bean one coming soon and others oh also if you can see in the background i have two new candles here and sorry for the grainy um pixelation here but anyway these are two new ones that i picked up from marshall's um, candy cane and snow day so I don't even see those on the website yet so I know they're extra new and um, so I'll be reviewing those soon too as soon as I get around to those probably not gonna burn those until December since they are really winter candles so anyway just excited to share those so thank you for watching again and please do comment like and subscribe thank you